everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be kind of a simple one. Um, we're going to take this um, five and a quarter inch floppy drive apart, clean it and lube it up. Because um, right now, if you hit the eject button, absolutely nothing happens and we've actually got a disc stuck in there. So first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and get that disc ejected. It does eject, um, it's just this whole mechanism is really gummed up. So. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed today. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off by taking off, I think there's only the two screws that hold this shield on. Looks like, oh, there's one more. All right, so that, there we go. That should pop right off. And now we've got the full mechanism. If my camera will decide to focus, that would be awesome. All right, so now we've got the whole mechanism exposed. Um, I mean, it's really a pretty simple mechanism. We've, this is a double head design, so we've got one head on top because you can see the wires coming off of it right there going around, and then you've got the other wire for the head on the bottom. Um, so we can see a lot of, wow, this gray stuff is really hard. This is uh, not the delicious gray stuff you'll find in Disney World. This is uh, nasty, sticky stuff on here. Yeah. That's nasty. Um, so we're gonna give it a quick little clean. Um, and then, so we've got some uh, Q-tips here. We're gonna go ahead and spray with some isopropyl alcohol. And hopefully, this should clean right up. Hopefully this won't give me too much grief. This is uh, just supposed to be kind of a little easy video. Get that head up there and really clean under the arm. Don't worry, I've got some um, white lithium grease here that we're going to go ahead and um, lube all of this with once we're done, but I want to get all this old grease off first. So um, I need to find out what this, mech this lockout mechanism, oh there we go. So now, now I can clean it. Yeah, that's some nasty, nasty grease. figure out here kind of what's sticking because something clearly sticking when you push this in what's causing this to stick so bad is it one of these rollers and yeah, the roller doesn't seem to be moving real easily um, is it just the combination of everything here this is a really unique mechanism um, the, this push button. Never seen this on a five and a quarter inch floppy before. So um, I'm, this is kind of new experience to me. Normally you've got the little knob that you turn, but here is uh, something a little different. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully I can get it cleaned and looped up. Um, so we'll go ahead, get another Q-tip. Spray one end down. Now we're gonna see if we can get in here, clean these heads a little bit. Just a little quick clean. They make um, actual floppies that do this. I just don't happen to own any. Um, it's basically just a cotton insert that you can spray with some um, isopropyl alcohol. And it does kind of the same thing as this Q-tip, but 
Um, I don't have any for either a three quarter inch drive or three and a half inch drive or a five and a quarter inch drive. So got to do it the hard way. Doesn't look too bad. A little bit of dirt on there, but uh, nothing too crazy. I think some of that might be from my fingers anyway. So, and we're gonna, there's a lot of places that this could be binding. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring out the lithium grace. Now I have to be real careful with this. Um, Cause it comes out pretty quick. But this is kind of what you want to use, because if you use like WD-40 or something, it's a little less permanent. That's already feeling a little easier. So it might just be these washers here, a little gummed up. So we'll get up some of this extra around all here. See if we can get it up here, get it on the tracks. Spread this around down here as well. Just kind of get a little bit everywhere. Then we'll do a little more lube up here very, very, very carefully. Yep, that was a little too much. Little, kind of what I was afraid of here. If this gets down in the mechanism and gumps everything up, and God forbid gets on your floppies, then uh, you're gonna have a bad time. So, oh, we got a little bit of yeah. This is uh, this is pretty dang gummed up. isn't returning. I think I mucked the spring up here. Yeah, look at that. This spring's supposed to spring this shut and closed. I messed that up real good. There we go. Nope. Nope. I think I just messed it up some more. Let's see. Where did that spring go? I have to clean all of this grease I just put on there off just to see the dang spring. Okay, so there's... You see the spring here? I think... That is supposed to come over here and around this little hook here. So, let's see if I can get that. No, I cannot. I might have just broken this drive. Which would really suck because I don't have another one. Alright guys, we are back. Um, so it was a little annoying because what I had to do is get this spring. There's a little hook there, which I don't know if that's coming through on the video or not. But, uh, but yeah, there's a, a little spring right there that you can see coming out. And I just popped it loose uh, when I was trying to clean all of this with the Q-tip. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but it was definitely, definitely annoying. But, uh, got some tweezers in it, uh, it all worked out in the end. So, you know, no biggie. Um, that stuff kind of happens. So, it's still not exactly what I'd call smooth. And I wonder if it's these... No, it looks like it's still getting caught on all of this. This is such a ridiculous mechanism. I used to love Compaq, and then I started working on your crap. And um, starting to hate them just a little bit. Just, just a wee bit. But 
you know, they're from Texas. I'm Texan, so gotta love them at least a little bit, right? Let's kind of get in here. I just don't know how well this particular grease is going to work. That seems to be the problem here. It almost seems like that's catching too. So let's put... God dang it. I wanted just a dab, but no, it's got to splooge out everywhere. I'm going to dab instead of stroke. <laughs> um, but that way I don't catch that spring again. It'll almost come out on its own. Clean a little bit down here. The fact that I have to do that every time I want to try and shut this thing is really annoying. See, this feels, honestly, this feels pretty, pretty solid. Wonder, let's put a little just, I'm not going to spray it here because that's going to get on the disc and that's going to be a bad day. So let's see if we can just put a little bit on this Q-tip and maybe lube up these roller areas here a little bit, just a touch. So I need a little more than a touch. A little bit here as well on this roller. Put a little more on my Q-tip, just splooging out like you do. Let's see if I can get a little on these rollers too. Just try not to make this thing so messy. Well, it'll eject on its own now even if there is a little bit of a delay just gotta try and keep working it seems to be coming out a little easier each time yeah there we go we're making a little bit of progress here just you know If I hold this down, so that's definitely part of it. This right here needs some loving. Try and grease this roller up as well as we can. So it definitely seems to be one of the things that's holding it up. Well, at least it'll eject now when I have it in the case, and hopefully I didn't get too much grease on the actual mechanism. Let me grab a dead disc here. Trusty old MS-DOS 3.3 disc, if you watch my last video, is dead. So if, you know, this gets grease on it, oh no. Let's put that in. Yeah, look at that, it ejects right out. And we don't seem to have grease anywhere on our disc. So that is good news. Let's see if we can get a little more. A couple of these places, it, it seems to be just kind of rubbing away pretty easily on a couple of these spots that seem to really need it. And I just want to make sure before I put this all back together, got a nice coating pretty much everywhere. Seems to be awesome. 
still think this is a stupid mechanism for a five and a quarter inch floppy, but hey, we'll work with it. Um, all right, awesome. So got that cleaned up, got the heads clean. So we'll get this uh, shield back on here and put her back in the 386 and uh, see how it works. All right guys, so we got the floppy drive back in the 386, so we're going to power it up and we'll uh, go ahead, put that in there, hit the uh, activate and see how it works. Hopefully, should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, 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 for whatever reason, now let's see if it boots off that. If it boots off that disc, we're golden. Sure sounds a lot quieter. Hey, look at that. All right, so it booted off the floppy drive, so it seems to still work. It actually sounds a lot better. And we can push the button and hey it injects the disc so I think that is a major improvement so I'm pretty happy with that uh, worked pretty well so uh, put that in there make sure it boots into DOS yeah there we go um, yeah Seems to work perfectly. And, uh, it's a lot quieter than it was, that's for sure. So, looks like I actually fixed something for once. So, hey, we're golden. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know the usual stuff. But uh, otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later.